What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Chronology, a really cool puzzle platformer that comes out today on Steam, so please go check out the link in the description and try it out for yourself. But Chronology is a really cool game that sort of brings me back to Braid. It does have to do with time and of course is a puzzle platformer, but overall it has an amazing charm, an amazing art style, and a good story to boot. So it does have this like tied to Braid, but I don't know if it completely beats Braid in some senses. We don't have that big of a detail of a uh, main menu here, so why don't we just hop right on in. Okay, so we do get some story here. I'll let you guys listen. We went further than any monk or scientist before us. We fused the erratic nature of alchemy with the rigid principles of science. We had developed a profound power, the Verve, capable of producing miracles, but also forceful enough to create calamity in the wrong hands. We decided never to touch it again. And we get a progressive story with each and every chapter. This is only chapter three. I think there's about seven or eight chapters in the entire game. But that's sort of a sneak peek of the story and how it tells story. Okay, so I know how to sort of play through this first level. Basically, we have this nice side scroll we're playing as this old man. We can't really do that much but hop around. But we do have a clock that changes time. Basically, in the story, the world has ended. And you have this clock that can change time. Basically, before and after the world ended. And you're supposed to go back before and to the current and past to uh, get to the end of the level. And that can get more and more complex. <laughs> nice pun there. But I can like change over here and I can make this jump, but you can see I sort of have to combine my efforts here by hopping on the here and jumping over and then jumping over again like that. And I can pick this up and give it to that poor plant. Now it's similar to Braid because it does also have to do with time, while the difference is uniquely enough Braid has to do with small differences of time, while this game has to do with large differences of time. And I thought that was a sort of cool thing to it. Okay, let's give this to this guy. No. Here you go. So now we can go forward in time, and this guy's gonna grow up to be a big healthy plant since we saved him. Now this is an interesting mechanic. I can sort of turn his head with the left and right vines by hopping on him. And then with the middle one, I can shoot down a nut. It's very weird how this works. Imagine if plants like, worked like this in real life. But I can shoot hit the, that for this weird rock to come out. But I can use this rock by uh, picking it up and moving it over here. And we'll meet another character. Okay, so we have this snail here who's just crying and crying and crying. Maybe we can help him or her by talking. By the long face, snail. <laughs> the snail creature is completely in pieces. She looks like she has lost her shell. Okay, so there's something about that line he just said that I'm going to mention in a moment. But now that we put this little sapling here, we can pick this up. Go forward in time. Oh wait, I did that a little backwards here. Let's do that again. Pick this up. Go backwards in time, plant it, go forwards in time, and it's a big sprouting tree. Okay, so now we can give this to the snail. I guess it looks like some type of uh, shell for him or her. Okay, so this is our snail buddy who will be accompanying us throughout the game. Now, I do actually have some gripes with this character. Um, one, it's supposed to be a bit of a comedic relief to an overall pretty serious story, but it comes off more annoying than it does funny, and I just, just flat out don't enjoy that. The snail does help us because later we f do find out that he or she does pause time, and you might notice that I keep saying he or she, he or she, he or she, when obviously just a few moments ago, the guy, old man said she. It's weird, there are different moments where he refers to the snail as a boy and as a girl, which just confuses me. Like, did the writers not care enough? Like, what's going on? Okay, so we can switch over here, and the snail does travel through time with us, so we can bring him down over here. There we go. So now I can use him as a bit of a stepping stone, because I'm going to need this tree over here. And I can just sort of switch through, and there's a good synergy. The gameplay itself is pretty cool with the snail. I just don't like the snail's character. It's sort of annoying, pesky, that kind of stuff. 
So I need to go back in time, plant this tree again, if it'll let me. No? There we go. And then we go forward in time again. Oh, I did that wrong. Why do I keep doing that wrong? Why is that? It's not a hard concept, Zebra. Come on. Come on. There we go. Go forward in time. Plant the tree. And then go backward in time. Or forward. You know. Okay, so let's make this dastardly jump. Okay, so we can call the snail over so we don't ever have to worry about the snail's location. That button for me. So he or she can come down here and we can make it forward so that he can press down the button and we can just make our way on and we can forget about him until now. And you can hear he just said here boy. It confuses me. Okay, so he can freeze time now. There we go. Did you just stop time, snail? Yup. I was engineered that way. Hey! Okay, so I need him to stop time, or resume time for me, so that I can go over here. Oh gosh, <laughs> and I messed up my jump. But of course, there isn't a big penalty for failing, except for the fact that you got to do it again. As you can see, it just instantly re re responds me, and that's it. Okay, let's bring Snail up here, and then I'll hop over here. And Snail, I need you to go over there, and I'll continue on. Now I need Snail to pause time so I can properly get up here without falling. And they try to have some story and some quabbling between the two characters, but the story just sort of falls off at that point. Like, it, it isn't interesting in my opinion. Like, the companionship between the Snail and the old man from the few chapters that I've played, it really isn't all that complex. Oh gosh, I'm gonna miss that joke. Oh, come on. Okay. Now I gotta switch really quick. And then, yeah, okay, now I'm good. And here's my wagon. My wagon? What happened? That scrap pile is your wagon? Shut up, snail. Let's just get a move on. I need someone who can give me some answers. And there we go. That's our one of the chapters to chronology. I'm actually going to just talk over this. It doesn't matter that much. The, the game continues linearly like that. It continues the story. The story is pretty good, but if you like what you just saw, then you're going to like the rest of it. Of course, the story gets a little more complex and sort of the puzzles. But this is chronology. Really simple. Really easy. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. You can find this game in the link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. See you guys later. Bye-bye.